Have you ever wondered why humans behave the way they do? Well, in this video, we're going to explore the evolution of human instincts from the earliest days of survival to the complex societies we have today. The study of human behavior has a rich history that dates back to the beginning of mankind itself, and one of the most important focuses in this field is how instincts shape how humans behave. Generally, instincts are innate automatic and unlearned behaviors that have evolved over time to help humans survive and adapt to their environment. Think of it as mankind's most basic response. They include survival instincts like fight or flight response, the nurturing instinct, and the cultural instinct. Survival skills are a set of abilities that allow individuals to survive and thrive even in the most difficult situations. Throughout human evolution, these survival instincts have helped us survive and adapt to the world around us. These survival skills include the ability to identify danger and act upon it and the drive to seek food. Now, the ability to identify danger and take necessary actions in response to it, for instance, is one of the earliest and most critical of these instincts and the importance of this instinct was innumerable. These instincts enabled our earliest ancestors to quickly and easily recognize dangers, including predators or other hazards and react. Even today, we see this instinct in action when we respond automatically to sudden loud noises or unexpected events that trigger even the slightest sense of danger. Think of that adrenaline surge you get when you see a dangerous snake. Well, that's your survival instinct in action. Aside from the sense of danger, another key survival instinct is the drive to seek food and sustenance. The fact that humans eventually learned how to explore and hunt for food is actually a product of this primal instinct. And as we know, over the years, mankind eventually extended its search to go beyond food alone, including resources, which today are the reason why technology exists and is still evolving. Aside from survival instincts, another set of instincts that have always been valuable to the evolution of human beings are social instincts. In fact, these instincts have grown to become a fundamental aspect of human behavior and play a critical role in shaping how each one of us behaves, especially in relation to others. But what exactly are social instincts? Well, like the survival instinct, social instinct refers to an innate and often automatic response. However, unlike the survival response which exists to protect, the social instinct is there to help individuals in social situations. Think of social instincts as those things you feel when you interact with people. Are you the shy type that always wants to run away and hide when in the midst of a crowd or the one who always wants to be the life of the party? Well, those behaviors are a part of your social instinct. Many psychologists believe that social instincts have their origin during humanity's earliest years when early humans began to live in groups and understood that this form of living was critical for their survival and success. Now, by forming these close bonds with others, early humans were able to share resources, provide mutual protection, and coordinate activities to meet their basic needs. Some of the most important social instincts include empathy, cooperation, and conformity. In its simplest form, empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. This instinct has been a critical part of human survival for centuries, allowing us to form strong social bonds and build communities. As humans, this instinct allows us to connect with others on an emotional level and to respond appropriately to their needs and desires. For example, whenever we see someone who is upset, the most natural response is to share that feeling of sadness. We begin to feel concerned for them. In fact, we may even offer them comfort or support. In the same way, cooperation is the willingness to work together with others to achieve common goals. While empathy allows us to understand how others feel, cooperation plays a great role in our success in accomplishing tasks that are too difficult or complex for us to accomplish alone. For example, when people work together on a project, they may divide up the tasks according to their individual strengths and abilities and work together to achieve a successful outcome. Cooperation has been a crucial part of human evolution, allowing us to hunt, farm, build, and create complex societies. Another important social instinct that has been helpful for human survival is conformity. Conformity is the tendency to follow the norms and expectations of our social group. It helps us to fit in with others and to avoid social rejection. For example, when people dress in a certain way or adopt a particular style of speech, they may be conforming to the expectations of their society or group. In fact, when we conform to the expectations of our social group, 
we may adopt certain postures or gestures that signal our affiliation with that group. However, while it is true that social instincts are not universal across all cultures, as different cultures may have different expectations and norms, and may express social instincts in different ways, despite these differences, however, social instincts have been a fundamental part of human nature for centuries, shaping our behavior and helping us to navigate complex social environments. Culture has to do with the way a particular group of people behave and live life, and as one would expect, this varies greatly among different people. The culture of especially those with whom we stay has a profound influence on the way we think, act, and interact with the world around us, and these form our automatic responses to events, our instincts. These cultural instincts may develop within society as a result of shared experiences, beliefs, and practices. With time, these behaviors and patterns of thought that are associated with these practices can become deeply rooted in the culture, shaping the way individuals perceive and respond to their environment. For instance, many countries have created norms and expectations about gender roles and relationships, with some leaning towards a clear delineation of roles for each gender, with men being more assertive and domineering, while women are meant to be more nurturing and social. On the other hand, others drift towards the concept that gender roles shouldn't exist. No matter how we look at it, however, these ideologies have an impact on how people who are growing up in these cultures develop association instincts. Think of a child who grows up in a society where men are expected to be short-tempered and mean. Such a child will invariably grow up as a domineering person. When we talk about cultural instincts, however, it's important that we look at both sides of the coin. As we've seen, because cultural instincts help to establish common values and shared goals, they are a major factor as far as the promotion of social cohesion and cooperation is concerned. For instance, cultural instincts for hospitality help create a welcoming and supportive community, while those for fairness and justice promote greater equality and accountability in any society. On the flip side, however, because cultural instincts are not directed towards the self but a group, cultural instincts may limit individual freedom and creativity as they have the tendency of enforcing conformity to established norms while discouraging the exploration of new ideas or behaviors. For example, cultural instincts play a high value in tradition. There's always an acceptable way something is done, and most times, anything outside of that is considered unacceptable. Think of the early scientists that came up with ideas, many of them including Socrates, Jean-Jacques Rousseau, Confucius, Aristotle, and the famous Karl Marx you must have heard during one of your lessons on economics or philosophy. They were strongly persecuted and some were actually killed for their beliefs, which at that time deviated from the expected societal norm. As we've seen, the story of human evolution is one of adaptation, innovation, and most importantly, survival. From our earliest instincts for food and safety to the most complex cultural instincts that shape our society today, our ability to work together and adapt to the ever-changing circumstances we find in this world has been key to our success as a species. As we continue to navigate an ever-changing world, however, it is worth remembering that our instincts as humans, biological, social, and even cultural, continue to play powerful roles in shaping how we behave and interact with each other. Nonetheless, by understanding and cultivating our instincts for cooperation, compassion, and empathy, we become more resilient as individuals and as a group, building a more harmonious community. So thank you for joining us on this journey through the evolution of human instincts. We hope you've gained a deeper appreciation for the incredible ways in which our instincts have shaped our world, and we look forward to exploring even more fascinating topics with you in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and comment on this video. Until next time, stay tuned.